So I got into uh, this topic of AI ethics kind of haphazardly. Um, it really was literally wandering into a lecture that was being given by Dr. Jonathan Schaefer and really being uh, captivated with the topic that he was delivering around all the harms that were happening in AI. And it was kind of alarming for me to hear this um, world-class AI researcher talk about the fact that he was really concerned about what was going on in his field. And after that lecture, I went up to him and I said, who is doing work in this area? And he said, not enough people. And that really launched my journey into AI ethics. I really wanted to find a way to bring this message out to more people. And this course is a perfect vehicle to do that. I think a lot of people in AI ethics come at it sideways on because it's such a new topic, but so important. And at the same time, it's so interdisciplinary that people can come into contact with the subject from all sorts of different angles. When it comes to data ethics, when it comes to the use of AI, when it comes to lots of other aspects of the technology sector that are in the news right now, we're in one of these moments where this kind of mass movement is starting to happen, but people need to be equipped with the kinds of knowledge and tools for thinking through and understanding and applying these technologies, but also ways of thinking about them in order for us to reach a point where a hundred years from now, people could look at 2000 versus 2030 and say, there was some moral progress made here. As the non-philosopher, also the non-data scientist, um, I kind of think about everyday ethics. And I think about, um, you know, people could put ethics in that pure philosophical camp, and that's something that philosophers do. Or we could think about it a lot more practically, and we could think about all the choices that we have to make in our life, in our jobs, um, just the basic things that you're doing day to day, and how do you decide what, what is the right thing to do, and by what you know framework are you using? And it, as we unpack these issues and um, do this from a philosophical perspective, I think we all can see ways that they start to relate. We may not have he ever heard these terms um, in our life, but we start to understand the concepts and how they might apply in regular situations. The advantage of doing a course like this, rather than just a five minute video on YouTube or something, or even a podcast, is that we can dive a bit deeper into some of these subjects. One of the things that um, I really love about uh, the course is really kind of taking this uh, problem at a number of different levels. So yes, there's technical fixes in terms of debiasing data sets or making things more private and those kinds of issues, but that's not solving the bigger problem. The bigger problem around the purpose of what is the technology being used for. And those kind of problems really need to be discussed and debated by uh, different members of society, policymakers, all kinds of stakeholders, the communities who are impacted. So one of the things I really um, like about what we're trying to do with this course is bring together the non-technical stakeholders as well as the technical stakeholders to have these conversations. And I see this work as a bit of a level setting so that people have the basics. Uh, one way of looking at it is that we need a Julia Child of AI who not just can explain these recipes to people who don't know how to cook and in the for the purposes of the metaphors like how do you make these systems in the first place but in so doing that uh, presenting it in a fashion that people where people can understand what is the model actually doing as it's on its way to this output um, whereas now it's just like you put the you put all your ingredients into the kitchen and then close the door, and then sometime later you open it, somehow, miraculously, a loaf has appeared. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tristan, I think we are the Julia Childs of this AI ethics field at the moment, <laughs> or we're attempting to be. <laughs> we're attempting to explain these things uh, in very accessible ways to people so that they can uh, help uh, to help them understand what's going on. We're building a better future, but there's a lot to learn, so let's strap in. <laughs>